Hi guys, Assalamualaikum and welcome back to my channel. Hi, if you are new, my name is Arina and if you are coming back, I hope you all are doing well at home. So in today's video, I'll be swatching all the shades. I'm missing one shade from the L'Oreal Well Nude Rouge Signature Liquid Lipstick. So if you're interested to know how they looked on my lips, keep on watching. So before I explain to you guys about this collection, I just want to point out that I have a tiny bruise here at the center of my lips. So if you see the swatches look a bit weird on that, it's mostly because of the dry patch on the bruise here. So hopefully you can ignore that. So I don't know when this collection launched. This collection was already available in Shopee Mall and I searched on YouTube. There are few swatches already. It launched last year, maybe during almost at the end of the year, I'm not sure. L'Oreal is super accessible. You can get it almost anywhere from Watson's, from Guardian, from any pharmacies. You can also purchase it online from Shopee Mall. So the L'Oreal Signature Rouge Wild Nudes Collection available in 9 shades. But I'm missing one shade which is number 146, Eye and Light. And I will insert a picture here and you'll be able to see what it looks like on different skin tones. Obviously, they swatch it on the arms and you'll be able to see how it looks like against a light skin tone, dark skin tone. In my opinion, this collection looks like a true nude against dark skin tone and if you have a lighter skin tone, this will be like more on the deep dark nude. If you aren't familiar with the L'Oreal Rouge Signature formula, it has a thin formula and at the same time it dries down to matte and the opacity is about medium. It feels comfortable on the lips while still last throughout the day. The price is quite high for a drugstore brand. It's almost RM50 and I suggest you guys to pick it up when there's sale like what I did. This is what the box looks like. It has a velvety touch similar to NARS boxes and the packaging inside is super simple. It doesn't have ingredient list on the actual component. It just has the L'Oreal symbol there and also the shade name is on the top on the cap. So if you are curious about what ingredients in this product, it is listed on the box itself. So let's jump into the swatches. The first shade is 143, I Liberate. This lip product also has a reservoir applicator where it can collect extra product. So this is what the shade I Liberate 143 looks like against my medium skin. As you can see, this shade pulls more on the pinky side. I often shy away from this type of shade but I'm not going to build up the opacity because I prefer the level of opacity for this type of shade. The next shade is 144 I Conquer. This is the shade I Conquer 144. I really like this shade. It's a brick shade. It's not brick red. It's just like a brick brown shade. Yeah, I really like it. And this is how it looks like against my skin tone. Okay, guys, moving on to the next shade, which is 145 I Convince. Looks like very dark shade. Okay, this is the shade I Convince 145. I honestly prefer the shade on how it looks like in the tube because in the tube it looks like a deep brown shade but against my medium skin and on my pigmented lips it pulls more plum but I wish it looked deep brown. Again, I'm missing the shade 146 One and Light so I'm just going to move on to the next shade which is 147 I believe. Okay, this is again in the shade 147, I believe. I think this is my favorite shade so far. And uh, it looks the same like what it is in the tube. And I like the opacity of this. This is just one layer. I know I can build it up to make it more opaque, uh, to make the color more concentrated. But I prefer how it looks right now. This is an everyday shade for me. And yeah, I really like it. 
in case you are curious i did put on a second layer so this is how it looks like it doesn't change that much from a, like only one layer i can wear it either just one layer to look more natural and i don't mind this level of opacity as well the next shade is 148 i hunt this is the shade I hunt against my uh, lips. I like this color. This is the color that I imagine the shade I convinced will look like against my lips. So I just want to compare them side by side. This is the shade I, I hunt 148 and this is the shade I convinced 1.5. As you can see, I convinced has a darker like a brown tone but when I apply on my lips, it pull more on the plummy side. I prefer this type of shade on my lips which is I hunt. It's like a warm brown. Shade is I and Chan one four nine. So this is again in the shade I and Chan one four nine. As you can tell, this is a very light shade, but it doesn't pull like a concealer shade or whatever. It's nice. The opacity is very minimal, and the shade is quite light, just like what it is in the tube. And I think I will try to layer it on and see if it increases the opacity. Yeah, this is two layers looks on my lips. So I think I prefer this level of opacity for this shade. This is a perfect MLBB shade for me. Yeah, this is in the shade I Enchanted 149. The second last shade is 150, I Dominate. So this is what the shade I Dominate looks against my skin. I like this shade as well. It doesn't pull too pink or too orange. I think it's in between shades. So, so yeah, this is in the shade I Dominate. The last shade is 151, I Insist. Okay, this is the shade I insist 151. I think you can tell that this shade pulls more red. As you can see, most of these shades look different on the tube. And after you apply on the lips, like this one, on the tube it looks like a dark brown shade, but on my lips it looks more red. Okay guys, I did take off the previous shade and I have the shade I Enchant 149 on my lips. This is the perfect MLBB nude against my skin tone. I did put on two layers because that is my preferred opacity for this shade. And let's move on to the review. I really like the formula of this liquid lipstick because first it's comfortable secondly it doesn't feel drying on the lips it doesn't suck up the moisture on the lips and also it lasts throughout the day without feeling uncomfortable also without crumbling it's transfer proof i'm gonna do it now so there's no transfer at all uh, from the swatches i think you notice that when initially i applied it looks shiny but it will dry down to matte it took around like 10 to 15 seconds for it to dry down which is quite fast so for this shade i would say that don't take or like don't look online and leave 100 percent what you see any shades will look different depend on your skin tone also on your lip pigmentation if you have darker skin tone most of this lip shade will look will look nude on you but if you have lighter skin tone than me most of these shades will look very like bold nude against your skin tone except for the shade i'm wearing which is i believe right here and also the shade from the tube will look differently when after you apply it on the lips sometimes a lipstick or liquid lipstick formula uh, will change the color when it dry down completely matte i have three favorite shades from this line which is i believe 147 the shade that i'm wearing right now 148 i hunt which is this very beautiful dark Greek shade that doesn't lean too red. And the last shade is 149, which is high-end chant. This one right here. 
and what I noticed that different shades have different opacity for the darker shades you only need one layer to cover your lip pigmentation and for the lighter shade like the shade I'm wearing you do need to uh, build it up two or three layers to achieve that full opacity so that it can eliminate your lip pigmentation that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching until the end if you find this video helpful please don't forget to subscribe and like this video thank you so much for watching if you haven't subscribed i appreciate if you can subscribe i do a lot of makeup tutorial reviews and hauls i hope i see you guys in my next one bye assalamualaikum